Hi guys. So in this definition, we're gonna make a mold using a waffle technique, and we need to make sure we have a closed poly surface, just similar to the grasshopper contour mold making. And also we need to make sure we have Bowerbird installed. So you can check that by looking up at the tabs and seeing Bowerbird is in there. So next, we're gonna load up our grasshopper definition. Um, and this should be called mold making with Bowerbird or waffle, Bowerbird mold maker. And basically it's the same thing as the contour uh, grasshopper definition. We're gonna right click on B-Rep, select our B-Rep. And basically we're giving uh, two halves of a mold. So let's hide our geometry since we have a preview. And basically we have the same settings as before with the draft tool we're able to adjust really quickly and on the fly. So we can make that smaller. Yeah, just like that. So we can pour into there our resins or molds and also we can make the mold bigger or smaller. Make sure not to go too small again. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then from here, we also have uh, guides that we can use, or we have a flat face uh, mold that you're gonna have to really get perfect to fit up to the next. So guides are pretty helpful. And then we'll show the guides in here. So basically you can see there's notches that help guide your molds together and keep them into place when you're casting. So similar to the contour mold making, um, we have to plug in either side one or side two with or without notches. And basically this Bowerbird definition, um, we can have material thickness for our waffles, the number of slices and the rotation of slices. So for this tutorial, we're gonna do the non-guide and we're gonna plug it into side one and that gives us our waffle for molds. And we're gonna plug in our side two and that'll give us our other half. Basically we still have our pouring hole there. So the tricky part about waffles um, is you're gonna to have to infill uh, your shape in the middle. And from here we can start to adjust the number of slices and then we can also adjust the rotation which could help with filling in the void with tape or fabric or whatever because otherwise your material will leak out. So here we're just kind of rotating at 28 degrees, which may take a little teeny bit of time. Still get some interesting waffles though. And so the benefit of waffling uh, to make a mold is you're gonna end up having to infill with a secondary material such as fabric, and you're gonna end up with some really interesting looking effects within that fabric because it's gonna bulge out. But basically you can see here, we're able to create some really interesting contouring and folding effects within our molds. So you're ending up with some really great material agency that actually folds throughout the waffle. So as you can see here, we bake everything out and we're able to uh, visualize everything within Grasshopper. So as you can see, you're gonna wanna infill within those spaces, otherwise your material will lay out and spill out, so fabric or tape will work in this instance. So there is a secondary material needed.